Welcome to the channel, Mosa Eat Fitness Coaching. We've got a new camera on, We're trying on that 1080p HD. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the channel. So in this uh, in this video, I am going to talk about the three main ways, the three main tools I use to basically stay lean year round. So I'm a fitness coach. I run my own uh, I run my own coaching business. And I work very long hours, you know, every day, six days a week, uh, managing clients, uh, doing free consultation calls, uh, doing group calls, doing one-to-one -one calls. And uh, yeah, it, it takes all my day. I work very, very long hours. Like I said, you know, usually I'm, I'm, I'm at work at around 10 a.m. and I finish approximately at 8 to 9 p.m. So how, did I ma how do I manage how do I manage this? How do I manage all of my work responsibilities while also at the same time staying lean? Very simple. Here I'm going to share it. Now, just to bear in mind, this has been a pain point for me for a long time. Yeah. For a long time, I would get fit. I would get very fit, but then I would lose it all, you know, because I would get into, I would focus too much on my business and neglect my body. And then sometimes I would focus too much on my body and then neglect my business. And I was just in this vicious cycle of just getting results, losing it all, getting results, losing it all, being 100% in, in my body and my fitness, and then just leaving and forgetting all about it, or being 100% in for my business and then neglecting my body. So, and I realized what triggered, what triggered me actually making this video uh, was that I realized many people actually go through the same problem. I'm not the only one here, especially professionals, especially entrepreneurs, especially high performers, people who, who like to go all in, all in. They usually suffer from this problem, right? They like to stay lean. I, I, I love the fact, you know, I like the fact, uh, I like being lean. I like being, I like to look good, you know. I like to be shredded, you know, when, when I'm out and, and I like to be confident with my own body. But... I want to do that and at the same time I still want to be able to grow my business and I still want to be able to crush it for my business and I realized that many people have that problem yeah many entrepreneurs many many of my clients come to me and and become my client because they trying to they trying to learn they, they want to actually be healthy be fit but then still be able to execute and still crush it for their business so I'm gonna share with you if you're someone who's going through this problem I'm going to share with you three tools that I use that I've been trying that I've been using for years and that many of my clients use and get great results with. And these three tools are going to simply hopefully help you um, overcome your challenge and help you start getting results. So first one, let's get into it. First one is the power of walking. Yeah. Walking can be a great tool to manage your weight. Yeah. Here's the thing. Why is it a great tool? Because you just got to get out and do it. You just got to st stand up and do it. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to get on your car. You don't have to put on your suit. You can, matter of fact, you can do it in a suit. <laughs> yeah. You can actually do it while wearing a suit. Whatever you're wearing, just go out and walk. If you got a corridor, walk up and down the corridor. Yeah. It's, it's so accessible to all of us. Even if you live in a small flat or in a small apartment, or even if you're in an office, just walk up and down. Yeah. And you don't, I'm okay, some, someone might say, okay, walking up and down, I'm going to look crazy. Okay, you can do that while doing something related to your business, yeah? And this is how I usually get my 10K steps in, by the way. I don't dedicate a, day, a specific time where I do it, no. Whenever I have group calls, whenever I have a client call, whenever I, uh, whenever I need to get on a call with, with someone, I do it while I walk, and I, I don't have to step outside. I can just do it right here right here just walk up and down and do it i get my steps in number one and i'm actually doing something useful for my business yeah or learning you know i don't know about you but i spend a lot of time i have to spend a lot of time learning and reading articles and and learning about the science of fat loss and so on and so forth i usually dedicate all that time to when i'm walking yeah i do it while walking and it actually even helps me digest the information even better because i can pause i can think about it i can you know process it and then i can continue doing it you know which is or simply anything that you wouldn't do in a desk that you would like let's say the email the emails that you have to reply to the the, the whatever documents you have to make you probably do that on your desk but the things that don't require you to be in a desk do that while walking and that's it. And you'll get your steps in and you'll, you'll manage your weight that way. 
yeah you'll be able to manage your weight and you'll be able to actually you know constantly be have your activity level go up have your need increase this way you have more freedom in what you can eat yeah because you either have to restrict yourself a lot or you have to do sufficient amount of activity level doing sufficient amount of activity level if you're working eight nine hours a day is difficult yeah i can i can i can tell you that from personal experience that is difficult yeah you can restrict yourself from food but you don't get that's that's still not good you know we're trying to perform at our best every single day we need sufficient amount of nutrients and food so how can you get a sufficient amount of nutrients and food without actually you know gaining weight or without getting fat increase your natural activity level walking is the number one way you can do it stay lean and stay shredded with walking that's it i don't do cardio i don't jump hours in the machine i simply walk every day everywhere <laughs> anytime any day <laughs> So that's the first one, walking. Second one is food preparation. I'm sure you've heard the saying, 70% of uh, 70% of abs are made in the kitchen, 30% in the gym. That's somewhat true. It's not 100% true. But yes, for the majority of us, the abs are made in the kitchen. They're not made in, in the gym for the majority of us. Okay, so how can you do that? Well, first of all, you have to eliminate junk. You have to eliminate all the sugars, all the processed food, and you need to stay away from takeaways. Yeah, it's easy for us entrepreneurs, working professionals to reach out for the takeaway, especially if our colleagues are all going out for lunch or all ordering food and, and they ask you to order food and you're like, yeah, you know what? I'll get it. That's very that's an easy option. And you want to avoid that. You want to avoid that as much as you want. There's nothing wrong with doing it once a week, twice a week. But if you're trying to get abs then that's the reality of things they don't tell you that in the mainstream or in the fitness industry they don't tell you that they say oh you can enjoy your food and you can yeah no no you want to get abs you're gonna have to limit your food for a while once you get the abs things change but to get there you have to be aware of what you put in your body that is very very important how do you do that prepare your food now people usually get nervous when i say that they're like oh prepare my food so i gotta go batch cook for no you ain't got batch cook you have to make the food at your disposal. The food has to be available for you. That is it. You know, and this, the trick here is to keep it simple. Don't go out there and just buy everything. Buy a few things. Pick, it two, three, pick two, three proteins that you would like to eat. Pick two, three vegetables that you enjoy. Pick two, three starchy carbs that you enjoy. Pick two, three healthy fats, nuts, avocados. And just buy a lot of it and, and stash it in your stash it in your fridge yeah stash it in your fridge and whatever you can put in your fridge put it in your freezer and that is it you don't need to th cook it you don't need to worry about all of that now nowadays everything is is ready you can get these you can get vegetables you don't need to cook vegetables lettuce tomato salad you can make a nice salad off of that instantly yeah chicken or fish just put it in the grill or put it in the microwave nowadays you can even make them in the microwave 10 minutes and it's ready and you can eat it and it's a good healthy meal and it will energize you Another, another thing is you have to view few food as your fuel. Yeah, look, I, I love to indulge and I love, I love having a nice meal and I love doing all of these things. And I love to go to the restaurant. And if you go to my Instagram page, Mo Saeed Fitness Coaching, I'll link it in here. You'll see I, I'm always having a lot of nice food. I'm always experimenting. But the under, underlying factor here is you have to view food as fuel for you to be able to to perform at your best, yeah. To optimize your day-to-day -day life. That is what f that's that's the role of food, by the way. Yes, food is nice, it's pleasurable. You can enjoy the pleasure of eating food, but essentially, food is there to optimize you and to help you perform. That is my concern. That's how I view food. Yeah, I view it as how can I, or my mindset is how can I perform at my best day in and day out. Food is a big part of it. And you got to have to start view, viewing food from that lens. And when you do that, and when you start taking food, looking at it as fuel, and looking at your body as an engine, as a super engine, as a supercar, and being aware of what you put in your body, what fuel you put in it, you realize that you just don't need that much, really. You just need a few options, good, healthy options, and you need to stick to that. And that food will make you feel good. And once you feel good on this food, then you will enjoy it and you will crave it and you will like it and you will continuously want to eat. It. Yeah, it's not all about mouth pleasure. It's all about how you feel. It's all about how you perform. If this food that you're eating is helping you make more money and build your business, you got to ask yourself, what would you rather have? 
the pizza that's gonna make you feel good for 10 minutes or do you want the steak and nuts or the beans and nuts that'll help you perform in your day-to-day life and help you achieve your goals that's something you gotta have a, have to ask yourself and if you're not willing to take what if you're not willing to take action and if you're not willing to to go for that option then yeah opt for the opt for the worst one yeah okay so food preparation last one accountability partner yes accountability partner look i'm a fitness coach i have an accountability partner i have someone showing me how to do things i have someone helping me out i have someone holding my hand step by step telling me what to do i have that because the power of accountability is beyond our understanding people don't comprehend it very well look i'll give you this example which is uh, okay the example i always give is climbing mount everest would you ever climb mount everest on your own probably not why because you probably will not make it yeah similarly with your fitness journey to get to the top you need a guide you need someone holding your hand you need someone showing you a safe passage showing you step by step how to get there how to get results and be having a support system around you you need that that is very very important a lot of times we fear accountability and we fear accountability because we think okay committing to someone or committing to this person who's going to make us feel accountable is just going to make my life so much challenging it's going to make it so difficult and when it's actually the opposite when you have an accountability partner you're making your life much easier because you have someone next to you showing you step by step. Think about it. Is it. What is easier? You climbing Mount Everest on your own or with someone? This is the same thing. Yeah, Your journey is like climbing a mountain. Yeah, Your fitness journey. If you want a transformation, it's going to take a while. It's going to take some patience. You can do it on your own. And you're going to make a lot of mistakes. And you're going to make a lot of pitfalls. And you have to come back and you have to bounce back. Or you can have someone by your side. That will ensure you get results and that will ensure you get the transformation. And that is it. It's very simple. Yeah. These are the three. These are the three ways I use myself. These are the three ways I give to all my clients. And they've, they've proven to get results. You know, and that's what we care about. And that's what I care about here at Mosaic Fitness Coaching. So to go through them again, one, utilize the power of walking. Two, f- prepare your food. Yeah. Have the food at your disposal. And lastly, having an accountability partner that will ensure you get results. I hope this has been helpful. I hope this has given you an insight. Now, uh, I have a website, Mosaid Fitness Coaching. If you would like to know more, uh, if you want to see how you can actually achieve your transformation, feel free to, to go there, have a look at it. I'll link in the description and you can apply for a free consultation call. Unfortunately, with these videos, I try to give as much value, but it's difficult. You know, I, mean, I, can, I can only talk at you. I cannot talk with you. You know, and to truly understand your problem and your challenge and overcome your specific problem, I'm, I'm going to have to sit down with you and talk to you and, you know, ask you questions. And I'm sure you would want to ask me some questions. Mm-hmm. So that is why I made these free consultation calls completely for free. You can apply there and we'll jump on a call. We'll have a chat. Uh, what the worst thing is, you'll get a plan <laughs> that will show you how you can get there. That's the worst thing. The best thing, you'll get a transformation. So if you... Uh, if you're interested, you know, feel free to go to the website or, or simply send me a DM. I reply to all my DMs. And yeah, have a great day, everyone. I hope this has been helpful and valuable. Please share, please like, please subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you. I have a small channel. Uh, so I really do take care of all my followers and, and all my, you know, everyone who has one second concern or has an inquiry. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Mosaid Fitness Coaching.